Hey Yarny Peeps, uh, we're back. I am doing something a little bit different today. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that um, I'm getting married soon. Yay! Um, which is causing a lot of prep, um, a little bit of stress, but it's fine because we're quite chilled out about it. So um, I have bought a bag which I love but I don't like the strap on so I was thinking today that I could upcycle it a little bit so that I love everything about it um it fits into our theme we're doing a little bit of um getting some rainbow accessories in there which you know if you followed me for a long time you'll know that uh, rainbow and anything rainbow with yarns is my jam um so that's what we're going to be doing so this is the bag that I've bought If you're scared of garish things, look away now. So this is it. I love it. It's it's so tacky. I get that. I'm completely fine with that. Um, it's essentially a glittery rainbow seashell with a little pearl on the end. So you can see that I've taken the strap off already. It came with this strap. This one. Um, it's it's a bit chintzy which I know how dare I consider in the bag um, but I just don't like it it's and it's it's really thin it's not me it doesn't I don't get it it doesn't match the bag at all so we're gonna change that nice and roomy inside um, if you want it I'll put a link to it in the description if you don't like it I completely get it it's not to everybody's tastes um, but yeah so I'm gonna be upcycling this it's got holes in for the strap already which is great um it might be a little bit fiddly pushing what i've got in mind in there um, and i'm going to be using these so it's a little bit of a jewel video upcycling a bag and crocheting with ribbon i've never crocheted with ribbon before um this is our color scheme um and before you all shout at me it's not the correct rainbow um but i don't care quite frankly that's our color scheme that's my color scheme in general um blue green pink yellow and purple um take a look through my instagram feed so yeah let's get started okay so this is what we're working with this beautiful thing First thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this. We don't want it. No, thank you. So we're going to put the bag to the side for a second. I am going to be using all of this ribbon. And my plan is basis, bleh, basically to chain each one. So make a really long chain of each one and then plait them all together so that's kind of a big rainbow chain i haven't got a big enough hook to just hold them all together and chain it so that's my plan i also need to leave a really loose slip knot at the end because they've got to go into I don't know if you can see this tiny hole so i'm going to undo the slip knot jam them all in and then when they're inside the bag i'm going to do sort of a macrame wrap with them all so that they stay nice and in there so we're going to use those ribbons i've got a six millimeter hook which will hopefully do the job let's see let's get into it so starting off with the yellow because it makes me happy it's nice and bright rid of that um, i'm not going to worry about the ends either because when they're in the bag i will cut them and then burn them um, just to seal them off nicely so this is quite thick so i am going to start with a slip knot but a, a long i'm going to leave a long tail longer than that to be able to jam it in um, and also i'm just going to be quite loose so i can just really just pull on it um, when i want to release it my plan is to do them, braid them, pull the slip knots out and then shove them through the hole. But we'll see. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I don't even know if crocheting with it's going to work or not. So 
The only issue we're going to have is if it's a loose slip knot. Okay, that should be get outable. So let's go a bit closer. So let's just start chaining it. It's the easiest stitch. I'm going to be quite loose or try and be quite loose with my tension. Um, probably could have finger crocheted this, but I didn't want the straps to be too bulky. Um, hopefully this will make quite light work of it. It could take some time. So yeah, this is simply, this is as complicated as it's going to get until we push it through the hole. Not looking too bad. It might turn out really ugly and I give up on it um, and just buy a strap from somewhere. So just in case, uh, leave me your comments to say where I can get a really pretty strap from. Um, preferably a small business because you know supporting each other um, but hopefully it won't turn out too bad so I'm just going to continue this until I want the length that, until I've got the length I want and then I'm going to come back for the next colour and show you guys how it went okay so we're finished I'm just going to do really try and be super loose with this last stitch um, and then cut a really long tail again because if I mess it up hopefully it'll be salvageable get rid of that okay so this is what we've got so I'm going to leave that like that for now um, but this is what we've got don't hate it hoping that as we pull it all together it's like it's a really nice rope actually hoping that as we pull it all together um it'll look great so i'm not going to bore you by making you sit through every single other color what i'll do is i'll make up all the other colors and then i'll come back when i've done and we'll braid them up hopefully and hopefully they'll look great Okay, so as you can see, we've got this hot mess now. I will um, sort them all out and we'll lay them out together and we'll braid them and then we'll attempt to get them into the bag. So this is the order we're going in. Green, blue, yellow, pink and purple. And what I'm going to do is just to keep them all together, I'm going to try and see if they'll clip, be clipped up with this binder clip. So, I say try, it's quite a small clip. Perfect. So, I've never... Um, going to find something to hook this on. So I've never braided five strands before and what I'm just going to do is um, probably have these two here. So the pink and the purple is one strand, the blue and the green is the other strand and then the yellow is the middle strand. Uh, yeah I'm just going to do that just because it's going to be easier, less time consuming and um, it'll still look great anyway. I'm hoping all of the braids look really good. They're really long so just sorting them out to braid them. So let's go on with it. going to try and keep it quite loose so it's quite a thick strap and try and keep 
each braid untwisted. Hopefully it'll look okay. So not the easiest because they're so long, they're dangling all over the floor. I've tried to take them to the table on the binder clip. Um, but also because they're so heavy, that's not holding up great either. Um, but we'll make it work. So far so good. It's looking really nice actually. I'm quite pleased with it. So I'm going to get down to the end. Um, because I'm running out of camera now as well. And I will meet you guys back when we're at the end. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. I've secured both ends now with binder clips because I'm done with the braid in. I think, can't believe this one's got two on it. And there's my sellotape that I held it down with um, because it's just so chunky. And you know what? Let's go closer. I can't believe how well it turned out. I'm really pleased with it. it looks amazing. So the next bit is the tricky bit. It's getting it into the holes in the bag. Um, I think I'm going to start with this end, the end that's not so chunky, because I can just undo all of them one by one and push them in, because they're all in this binder clip. Um, and hope that it doesn't unravel. I'm just really thrilled with it at the minute, so fingers crossed. What we're going to do is we're going to shove all the ends in um, whilst it's just held like this. And then tie around them with one of the strings like a macrame tie and then pull it down through and then we'll cut the ends off um, and I will burn them so that they stay unfrayed so that's the next step so wish me luck um, let me know what you think of it so far in the comments because I actually think it looks really pretty um, so let me know what you guys think Okay, so I've got my bag and what I'm just going to do here is just push this through it just to make sure it'll go through the hole, which it will, and then come out again, which it will. Fabulous. So that's my next step. I'm going to get all the ribbons into that hole. Okay, so I've got the pink and the purple one through. And I was just sat here thinking you don't actually need to take that off because all we're looking for is the ends. So you don't need to take this binder clip off. You can leave it on. All the As long as you can get access to all of the ends, you only need to take this off at the end when all the ends are in there and when we've tied them up. And fingers crossed then it won't go... It'll be so tight that it won't unfray because you can see at the minute I've got purple, pink and yellow in and it's staying quite well. Once we get the blue and the green in, hopefully that braid will stay in place. Okay, so we're in, which is amazing. You can see all my strands in there. So you can see I've got all the strands in. I'm not going to get rid of that binder clip just yet. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick a strand and it's probably going to be blue. I don't know why. And I'm going to wrap it around all the other strands. It needs to be quite tight. Okay, I found a big enough needle that will fit the ribbon. Hopefully it'll go down here. It's just 
going to be really fiddly. So I'm going to I'm going to do this off camera guys because it's going to be too fiddly to do on camera. I'll be back. Okay, I I had so much trouble doing that. It just took me a solid 10 minutes. I've knotted it at the end where it's come out just in case. It's going to be hidden and I'm, so I'm not that precious about it. I just hope that it holds. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave... Oh, look at this little thing that's happened here. Great. Ah, uh, this ribbon's testing me. Unconventional materials. Why do we do it to ourselves? Why, why, why? Aha. Okay, so, um, yeah, I've knotted it just in case. Um, I'm going to chop about here. So this is, I'll just show you the excess. It's quite a lot of excess. There's my big old needle. Um, but I didn't want to, this bit's falling off this bag now. I didn't want to not have enough so I'm going to leave that in there um, as a little tassel but if we take this off now, fingers crossed that should oh, yes hold, amazing so that is the first side of our strap it's holding in there. I know these straps aren't gonna, you know, you're not they're not gonna be removable, but it's it's we're doing good. So now we go to the next side and then we're done. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so that's the second one done. I actually managed to get quite a good tie this time. But again, I'm going to leave about that much tassel. I'm going to tuck it in. Zip it up. Zips up fabulously. Get rid of all this mess on the desk. You can see... I don't know if you can see how we've lost quite a lot of glitter, um, but that's okay. It still looks fabulous. And this is our finished. That ribbon just doesn't want to go away. Our finished results. Oh, I've moved it a bit further away. You can see now that my background's a bit of a mess. But this is the finished result. I love it. It's amazing. And that's not just me being blowing my own horn. It's so unique. I mean, we've pretty much gone from something really, really stringy. This to something really chunky. It's beautiful. So here it is, you guys, in all of its glory. Absolutely fabulous. I didn't want the strap too long. I just wanted it so I could sling it over. Um, sometimes I find with really long straps that um, I'm constantly doing this with them. And I didn't want that. Um, it's going to be faffy enough on the day. Uh, so yeah, I'm really pleased with it. It's so pretty the braiding it just works um it's not so the bag's quite tacky it kind of takes that off a little bit even though it's a rainbow strap it kind of takes that off a little bit i mean this is not what you're supposed to do with it but i just love it and it's got a little bit of give as well um, yeah, really, really pleased with this one. Um, so yeah, it's something I can definitely recommend. Working with the ribbon was really tricky because it's 
like working with a really bulky yarn but it's also quite firm um i would i use six millimeter hook i'd probably go up a hook size anyway um but i just, just i haven't got a bigger one um so i i would recommend going up a hook size but um it it came out really nicely it it looks like little bits of rope um that i've braided together which is beautiful and um it's got a little bit of give it doesn't feel harsh uh, on my skin it's a brilliant way to use up if you've got any so i if you're a hoarder crafter like me um, and you've got any of these lying around it's a brilliant way to use up ribbon you could make just bracelets with it it doesn't necessarily have to be a bag strap or anything like that just i had the idea um so i can't wait for you guys to see the pictures of the wedding um by the time this goes out it's going to be a long way off um just because we won't be getting married until september and probably likely we won't get the pictures back until october um, and this is going to go out in august so um yeah i will pop a few pictures of it on instagram um let me know what you guys think in the comments for i'd say what five a fiver i've got a, a new bag strap you could do this with any bag it doesn't have to be you know an evening wear bag you can do it any length because i've got plenty of ribbon i've got at least half a spool of ribbon left um, let me know what you think in the comments is this a good idea this might not be to everybody's tastes but would you do it with more muted colors or you know a different material what other conventional materials have you worked with before um, and what should i upcycle next because i'm not a fan of chucking stuff away what do you want me to upcycle next leave your ideas in the comments and don't forget to subscribe because it helps me out a lot um, it lets me keep giving you content and um, doing all the great crochet things that we all like to do. Um, so I'll see you in the next one and thank you so much.